I spoke with Peter Campbell and Tamsin Callahan of City University London about their recently published study looking into whether patients with glaucoma could perform visual field tests at home. So this is a feasibility of home monitoring of visual field study whereby we're looking at um, how we could use a pre-set up laptop device with a with a visual field test that runs on a collie eye catcher to allow us then to carry out visual field testing within participants home environments. We wanted to know that if we have if we're asking patients to actually do this in the home is it something that they can actually do and do they want to do it? The Glaucoma UK funding allowed us to recruit 20 participants, issue them with laptops with the eye catcher software and then they were able to take them home and carry out a visual field test within their home setting once a month. We could then look at how the home monitoring of visual fields could be done in terms of its um, repeatability and also accuracy in comparison to the Humphrey visual field standard. To perform the test, the participants are asked to dim the room lights and turn on the laptop. They then ensure that they are 55 centimetres away from the screen, which measures 35 by 20 centimetres. They then cover one eye and perform a field test as you would normally do with a field screener. What's the accuracy been of your study? So we had very impressive results really. We had 98% adherence, so very compliant with the regime that we set our participants. And you know the accuracy was in very good agreement with the Humphrey visual field test conducted in the clinic prior to and after the, the, the study. It was also important to know that there were changes in the illumination which we thought might make a difference to the results and it was something that patients fed back to us they struggled to control over the six month period had no effect on the visual field results that we gained so that was really positive. I don't know what it is about taking a visual field test I find it truly horrendous so yes it's yeah and do you know what that's really important i don't i think it's one of those tests that just nobody likes doing but i think something that our participants reported back to us was having that freedom over when they did the test and how they did it a lot of that anxiety a lot of that stress was taken away they weren't they they had no distractions they were able to do the test at a time that suited them they were able to do it you know sit down in a controlled environment um And actually, a lot of them reported that they felt more at ease with taking the test under those conditions. And that might have been had something to do with the accuracy as well. How good, you know, with the good accuracy that we had. They could have a break if they want between doing one eye and the other. Something that in hospital settings, we can't let our patients wander off for for a few minutes. So it gave them that, I guess, um, time to kind of relax a little bit in between testing one eye and another. If this were to scale out massively, do you think that it would change the way that monitoring would happen going forwards? I mean, would you always want to have an HFT somewhere in that sort of pipeline of monitoring and measuring just to make sure you've got a fully accurate measurement, but maybe scale it down a little bit? Or I mean, what would be the dream for this? It doesn't necessarily mean it from this research, everybody who's been diagnosed with the glaucoma does these tests. Um, It could be that it's um, focused on people who are at the most risk of progression. Obviously, they're doing tests monthly. Um, It could be that it's, you know, for people who, for whatever reason, the clinic has decided to monitor more closely. So it doesn't have to be, at the moment, we've got a pretty much one size fits all mechanism for monitoring glaucoma. And this would mean that we wouldn't have to do it that way. Not all patients will be able to carry out these tests at home and we recognise that across all populations and there would be certain people would need to bring in to to investigate them more but Mm. a lot of potential low risk of which there are you know a huge number of glaucoma patients who might only be seen once or twice a year or if not it may be even up to two years low risk ocular hypertensives could carry out something and were technologically capable of doing that would be able to do something like this which which would free up a lot more space within Mm. The hospital and clinic settings. If you look at how we screen for diabetic retinopathy at the moment, this isn't necessarily a, a new thought mm. um, in eye care. It, it's just being applied to a different condition. Is there any system designed to check whether there's there's any fall off in visual function? Yeah, certainly that's something that would be want we would want to expand on in future studies. People with glaucoma over years could well have progression in their eye disease, and if they're only maybe getting access to Humphrey visual field tests at the hospital, you know, once a year or at the current climate, if there are delays in that, then there's the potential that we could be missing people who have got, 
you know, vision loss that would warrant a change in their management. Well, that's something that I think definitely is is going to be warranting further investigation. You know, the integration of our system or any system um, with getting results back to uh, consultants or the eye care practitioner that's looking after the patient. I mean, that's something that we didn't do for this study, but in future that would be something that would be really important.